I look like a fool, damn it. And I don't want you looking like a fool, then regretting your life and questioning what the hell was I thinking? Am I even stylish? Yes, boys, nobody's perfect, and your boy, he's made a lot of mistakes in his life. Style is no different. So today, I'm gonna show you the five worst style rules that I used to follow that now make me question, why the hell would I even listen to that? So today, to save your life, I'm gonna go over these tips so you never fall victim to them. Let's hop in. Number one. A dreaded skinny jeans. Yes, I, I would wear skinny jeans. Skinny jeans to the point that you could see printing. And it wasn't my phone. That is uncomfortable. Not just for the wearer, but for the people that are looking at you. Men, we're not supposed to be wearing jeans that look like leggings. Jaggings, they have no room in a man's wardrobe. And the biggest issue that I would have and why I would wear them is because I wanted that tapering at the bottom, like every guy does, because you want to show off your sneakers or your shoes you're wearing. But now that I've gotten older, the truth is you don't need to be wearing skinny jeans. You wearing a slim cut or a straight cut is more than enough and all you need to do is get the bottom tailored with by your tailor and just taper from the knee down. This is going to give you that tapered effect you want without actually constricting your quad. Number two, perfectly matching your belt to your shoe. Like, unless you want to look like your mommy dressed you, you don't got to follow it. I was the dude that was reading the GQ magazines back in the day and would literally take my belt when I was going shoe shopping to make sure I got the same shade. Not only is that stupid, it's impractical. Truth is, being off by a couple shades, no one's gonna notice and you're gonna look just as good. And I'll take it a step further. If you have ants and belts, then you probably have a little bit of fun like I do and instead just wear completely contrasting belts because hey, what the hell? It actually looks good. And that's what I love about our sponsor ants and belts that unlike traditional belts, you can easily swap straps to change the look of your belt and have a little bit of fun with your style. That's what makes ants and belts so amazing on top of the revolutionary fact that it doesn't have any holes. If you don't have a track system belt like these from Anson, you're missing out. Because these, like I said, they don't have holes. Instead, they have a built-in track system in the back of the belt. Now this track system is adjustable by quarter inches, which means you can be ultra precise when you put on the belt to make sure it fits perfectly and it holds up your pants. Unlike traditional belts that have holes and have jumps every inch or so, like I said, these are adjustable by quarter inches. So when your waist fluctuates through the day as you eat or as you get bloated, you can easily adjust your belt to feel comfortable. So if you guys wanna check them out, click the link below. They have an amazing gift set where you can get three belts, two buckles, or three buckles and two belts, which will give you a total of six different combinations. So essentially like you're buying six different belts for under a hundred bucks. This is an amazing gift set to not only get for yourself, because I'm telling you, once you start wearing ants and belts, I promise you, you're never gonna go back. The first time I put one on, go to my closet now, you won't find a regular belt. So not only get one for yourself, give one to your father or to your friend or to your brother. What are you waiting for? Give at least one of these belts a try, and I'm telling you, you're gonna love it, and then you're gonna come and thank me. Number three, wearing dress shoes without socks. And yeah, I was an idiot, and I, I was the idiot that was reading GQ magazine. I was so GQ that I won GQ's first ever How GQ Are You competition, but now that I look back at it, I'm like, damn, I suck. Because who in their right mind will wear such a formal shoe without socks? That that looks... That looks messy. And I used to do it all the time. Now I know how ridiculous it looks. But if you're wearing that with obviously casual sneakers or loafers, that looks good. Your man ankles with a casual sneaker, that's perfect. But when the menswear trend was raving back in the day, like three, four years ago, the trend was don't wear socks with anything. Tom Brown used to do it all the time. And well, why shouldn't I do it? Now I see why. When you're wearing dress shoes, you want to look as formal as possible. So always wear socks and also don't. Wear the childish happy socks. What bad style rule that I would always follow? Never wear brown and black together or black and blue together. For some reason, these two colors could never match up. At least that, those are the rules that people would tell you. But as your style know-how increases, you start realizing there's so many different shades between these two colors that when you start playing with them, you can create some really stylish combinations. And not only that, some really unique combinations because so many men are ingrained with this concept that you can't wear brown and black together. So when you ever do pull it off, People are gonna be like, damn, what the hell? That's a stylish dude. Fifth and last style rule, if you wanna stand out, you have to be bold. And the theory was that it took a confident man to look bold, not it took an idiot like this to look bold. Back when the menswear trend was a hype, I was rocking all the bold things you could ever think of and now that I look back at it, 
I look like an idiot. And that's why now my style's more minimal, more refined. So when I look at pictures from me back two years ago or three years ago, I would still wear those same outfits because instead of going above and beyond to be this bold and obnoxious outfit, I choose things more intentionally that fit my body and make me look more aesthetic. Peacocking won't get you anywhere other than looking like a dude. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. Those are the top five bad stylers that I used to follow back in the day, and I hope you never fall victim to them because uh, then you're gonna have these floating online haunting you forever. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Anson Belts. If you guys want to check them out and cop some belts, there's going to be a link down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next.